You know, so many of you have asked, is Hackintosh on Ryzen for music production any good or does it work or whatever? Well, I'm finally doing a video on it. Technoli here, guys, and uh, yeah, this is surprisingly good and very powerful and very inexpensive. So what I've got here, I've got the Asus ProArt B550 Creator, and it does have built-in Thunderbolt. As you can see, I've got my Apollo Twin X plugged in. There's a shot of the uh, I.O. ports. And uh, yeah, hot plug doesn't work. So, you know, you gotta have, you gotta have the Apollo hooked up, turned on, plugged into the board, and then turn on your PC and everything's cool, all right? So not a big deal. All right, so what we got here, we got a NVMe slot here, and we've got one here. Now, as of me shooting this, this board is like 225 bucks, okay? For a motherboard with Thunderbolt, that is super, super cheap. All right, we got your front USB 3.2 here, USB-C here for your case. So these are both for the front of your case. Uh, does have USB 2s built on the board if you're running anything that needs that. And you've got four slots for RAM. Um, nice board. What I've got in here is a Ryzen 5800X. That's an eight core processor. So we're gonna do a little bench test on that. And uh, we've got a couple of different programs loaded on this. We've got Pro Tools, Logic, yes, uh, Cubase does work on it. I just did not install it uh, fully because it's 13 gigabytes, but no problems there. So let's get into, you know, the uh, specs on this as far as benchmarks go and see what you guys think. But yes, we can run music software on AMD beautifully. All right, guys. So, like it says on my webpage, happy holidays. Um, got a couple of deals on custom PCs, by the way. Got a new website. Hope you like it. Got some discounts on stuff. Got some motherboards on sale. Now, be careful when you're looking at these boards because the ones that are on sale, they are truly in stock. These other ones, if you click on them, it says ships within a week. So if if you're not in a hurry but you want a particular motherboard like this one or whatever, then it's going to take a little longer to get because I don't have it in stock. And right now with the holidays, uh, shipping is, you know really is bad Amazon you know I love it you pay Amazon you know $180 a year to give you quick delivery and then they tell you it's gonna be here in two days and then they change it to five days very frustrating but anyways what are you gonna do um, so I I want to get into this board um, this board is it's an older board. I mean, it's not like brand new, just came out. Um, but it has come down in price so much that it is extremely affordable. And um, we've got Thunderbolt, you know, we've got Thunderbolt built in right here. So where are you going to get a motherboard with Thunderbolt built in for 226 bucks? I mean, it's a great deal. Um, course they're out of stock on them right now but they'll they'll be getting more I'm sure so um, I want to give you some specs on this board just so you know what you're getting into like I do on these motherboards we'll go over here to the Asus website and um, 
we can get the complete specs on it. All right, so of course it's going to support any of the Ryzen CPUs. It's good up to 128 gigabytes, up to 4866 on your uh, memory. Um, and let's see, of course it has HDMI, but we're not concerned with that with Hackintosh because it's not going to work. But here we go. Thunderbolt 4. And so that's what that's the juice we're looking for for, you know, musicians and people doing um, music production. A lot of guys want to use Thunderbolt devices. So uh, that's that's what we got. And then we got two Intel 2.5 gigabyte LANs. We've got a boatload of ports on the back. So you're good to go. Of course, Realtek audio. Uh, but it, it's a nice board. The beautiful thing about this board is sleep works on this. I mean, it goes to sleep like an Intel board and wakes up when you wiggle a mouse. So um, you're going to love that. And uh, like I said, I've got the 5800X in here, Ryzen chip, 8-core CPU. And I think that thing is, uh, let's see... Let me go back over here to Amazon. I think it's like 220 bucks. Um, let's check it. I, I forget exactly. 5800X. Yeah, two, 210 for that. It's 8 core, 16 thread uh, CPU. And so I want to show you this thing running uh, Pro Tools. Now, be careful with this Ryzen chip if you are an Adobe user. There is no definitive answer on using Photoshop with Ryzen Hackintosh. There are fixes out there on the web, but if you read around, there's just a lot of complaints that, oh, I can't get it to work. So I just I don't want to tell you that oh you can run any software you want on this thing no problem because there have been issues with Adobe products so for whatever that's worth um, and it used to be that some of our like Pro Tools and Cubase and stuff like that they had issues with but I wanted to test it for my viewers because I don't want you guys you know running into problems and having headaches with with everything so I just decided to install Pro Tools and uh, see what we're dealing with and make sure that this thing is working and it is um, it installed beautifully no issues um, and also of course, Logic works great, and I'm going to show you the uh, Logic test, the benchmark test on that. But let's let this uh, boot in here, and here we go. We'll just hit it. Um, works good. No issues. Um, Pro Tools. There we go. It's just, you know, a demo tune that the, that's in here. And... You know, it's just uh, the, the, the beauty of this, guys, is that this is so inexpensive. You're looking at 225 and 210 You're looking at $435 for a motherboard that supports DDR4. So you could put your old RAM in it if you had a system that was, you know, maybe didn't have Thunderbolt or whatever, and you just wanted to upgrade a little bit. So you could be into something for... You know, four hundred dollars that is going to perform fantastically, and I've had so many people for for a number of years now say, "Hey, when are you going to test it out? When are you going to let us know about Ryzen and how does it work for music production and everything else?" Um, it's amazing. I mean, I think it's fantastic that we can run Mac OS on a Ryzen computer that Apple never even dreamed that they would be running. Mac OS has never run on an AMD 
okay? And that's why I say, you guys think that a Hackintosh is done? No way. These programmers, these open core people who I give massive kudos to, they figure out ways to get this stuff to work with Mac OS, which we all love. We all love Mac OS. I mean, it is the operating system. Um, and they managed to get Mac OS to run on an AMD system. And not just Ryzen, but Threadripper and all the others. So Hackintosh is going nowhere, in my humble opinion. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people say you're crazy, but that's okay. That's okay. Let me be crazy. Um, so anywho, there we go. Um, I'm not a Pro Tools user. I am a Logic Pro user. I think Pro Tools is excellent, but to me it's just a little more, more involved, which is wonderful for a lot of Pro guys out there. So let's get into Logic, and we can run our benchmark test. In fact, I didn't even need to do what I just did, so I'll just open it up here. And I don't know if you guys saw previous video I did with Logic on that monster system. Now, that was an Intel 24-core i9-14900, okay? That's a massive CPU and basically we were able to run as many tracks as we wanted I mean I had it up to like 1600 tracks or something like that it was absolutely insane and you know it still didn't uh, collapse on us or or go into a uh, you know performance that where it just said huh, I can't run anymore but here we go we're talking about a motherboard for 230 bucks and a CPU that's 200 bucks so 400 and some bucks and let's see I've got a hundred tracks on right here here is our meter performance meter so we can see what kind of damage we're doing this of course if you guys have never been to my channel before uh, if you're new this is a hundred tracks running an electric piano EQ a multiplier, chorus, a filter, and a plate reverb. All those plugins on each track. And then the, the uh, stereo out is just a limiter on there. So no problems at all. We're about 50%. So let's jump this up maybe to 200 tracks. 200 tracks. And I want to know your guys' opinion down below. If you're running a Ryzen or an AMD system, what's your opinion about, you know, the system and how it runs and everything else? I think it's just, you know, I was always an AMD person back in the Windows days because you could get, you know, a faster system for less money. And I always ran AMD. So I've always been an AMD fan, but... Uh, Tell me what you guys think. 200 tracks, guys. Uh, we've still got plenty of headroom here. Let's go ahead and let's just jump to 300. 300 tracks. All right. There we go. Turn them on. Let's hit it. Okay, now we're getting to the max. It's jumping off 100%. I do hear the... CPU fan spinning up a little bit, so it's putting a little pressure on it, guys. So I've got 310 tracks on right now. Uh, that's uh, pretty amazing. The motherboard for the Monster system is $550, just the motherboard. And then that i9-14900 is another $550. Bucks. So uh, you're talking $1,100, something like that. And this were like four four fifty and we can run three hundred tracks, three hundred and ten. I think that's enough. But let's just see if we can get it to fail. Let me go up here to let me go to three fifty. Three hundred and fifty tracks. It's got it's got a fail here on us. Let's see, three hundred and fifty. 
Well, it's holding on. Are you serious? That really surprises me. I thought it would collapse on itself. Uh, let's bump it up another 25 tracks. Yeah, something like 375. Let's see if we can get a clip. My God. It's still holding, guys. How in the world is that holding on without clipping? 400 tracks? 400 tracks. Okay, let's see if we get a clip on this. System overload, something. Wow. <laughs> no, CPU fan is definitely cranked up, but it's still running. Oh my god. Um, this surprised me. I didn't do this test before. I don't like to do the test before the video because I want my honest feeling about it. I don't want to be like, oh, you already know. there we go. System overload. That's 424 tracks. All right. Now, buffer size on this, just so you know, is 128. Now, we could increase the buffer size and get more tracks, but I think you guys get it. Um, let me turn off. There's 416 tracks. Nope, overload. So I think 400 tracks is, is going to be about where we're at with this, which uh, I'm really surprised it would do 400 tracks. I really am surprised because that is a massive load. Massive load. There we go. There's 400 tracks. So, uh... I think this answers our question. It will run. It will perform. And, you know, I think that if you want to use AMD and you want to get the most bang for your buck, like it always is. And by the way, this is only 16 gigabytes of RAM, okay? Um, I just now thought about that. Look at this. This is only 16 gigs. I should have at least 32 in here. And there's our CPU. And I'm just running a cheap Radeon uh, 465 62 gigabyte graphics card because for, for music production, we don't need a fancy graphics card. But we do need something that is supported by Mac OS. And a lot of people think that NVIDIA is still supported or it will still work. And no, it hasn't. NVIDIA hasn't worked for many years because... Uh, Apple and uh, NVIDIA got into a fight several years ago. So, no, just AMD is the only thing we can use now. And uh, we can use up to a 6900 so far, 6900 uh, Radeon. So, there we go. That answers our question. Will or can we run music programs, music software on a Ryzen Hackintosh. And yes, we can. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was fun to do. Um, great motherboard, Asus, ProArt, B550 Creator. Get yourself one. This board is for sale on my website if you want to pick it up with OS already installed. Of course, I will have the EFI for this on my uh store as well so you can go to technoli.com pick that up if you buy this board and don't want to mess with making your own efi for it so guys thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe to the channel all right thanks so much see you later